Good morning guys, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Vlogtober. It is Vlogtober day 14 and I'm just going to address the elephant in the room immediately. Yesterday, day 13, there was no vlog uploaded and I'm really sorry about that. I actually did film a little bit yesterday and I was I'd, I was gonna upload it but it was literally like four minutes long so then I thought you know what I'm just gonna wait and show you guys my dinner give you an update on Kingdom of Ash because I literally read so much yesterday I've really made a good dent in that now so I'm feeling really good about that so I was gonna give you a little update and I never got around to doing it in the evening I was just so tired I'd literally got up at about 11 o'clock did some bits and bobs in the house got the house I, I was really tired and yeah I just really wanted to make a like a good start at the beginning of the week so I will insert the clips now of that I did get yesterday because they're literally not that long um, and I'll just kind of include yesterday into today good morning guys happy Sunday happy day 13 of vlogtober I can't believe I'm actually picking the hammer up this morning um, it is 11 o'clock, half 11, and I've had a very lazy morning. We had lots of beers last night. When I said I was going to have one beer and then come home, didn't happen once again. I'm just proving myself wrong every single time I come onto this camera at the moment. That's really great. But we actually had a really, really nice evening. We didn't go anywhere other than the Indian, but we were just in there for hours. Um, so yeah, lots of beers were consumed. I'm not actually feeling too bad. I definitely felt worse yesterday. So I'm not feeling too bad now. We were supposed to be going to brunch with some friends today, which we have cancelled on, but they also wanted to change where we were going. We were literally going down 10 minutes down the road for brunch and then they wanted us to go like half an hour away. So we aren't doing that. We're going to catch up with them another time. And I've been in bed all morning watching YouTube videos. And do you know what? I just, the house is a mess and I just don't want to start the week off on a bad note. I really, really believe that like next week we're already in the routine of eating healthily and like some of the gym sessions that we've like been going into so I just really wanted to like implement some more of the like healthy lifestyle things into my routine next week so I'm gonna try and start the week off on a good note despite feeling tired and whatnot I don't actually feel that bad so I tackled the kitchen already because I I just honestly I couldn't even show you that but this is the aftermath of a weekend of plans and drinking and just not really having time to sort anything out. The bathroom is honestly just a mess. I've managed to, as I said, sort out the kitchen. I really want to change the bed sheets as well so we've got fresh sheets to get into tonight. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick whiz around. I literally just want to spend the next half an hour 40 minutes just like having a quick clear through the house so that we feel nice and fresh i'm only an hour about a bath i don't know if i'm really in the mood for a bath to be honest guys today so i think i'm going to just do all this get ben's work clothes washed as well and then i'm probably just going to have a quick shower and then i'm going to chill out for the afternoon so yeah i've got a bit of cooking to do as well i wanted to do a bit of meal prep for ben so i might do that too just get it done and out of the way do you know what i mean start the week on a good note because otherwise i'm just going to be kicking myself tomorrow when actually i'm more than capable of just getting a few bits done so happy sunday i hope you all have had wonderful weekends stoptober has just become null and void this weekend and honestly we're feeling rubbish for it like last weekend was just so perfect and you know these things happen but yeah definitely just wasn't expecting to have such a boozy weekend as we have but there we go we move and i honestly am okay so let's get this dressing room sorted and then we'll go from there <laughs>
me. It's literally just turned seven o'clock. I've been up since six and it's only just starting to get light out. It's really, really been dark this morning, which is crazy. But yeah, I just really wanted to start the week off on a good note. And despite having a, a quite a busy weekend in the end, I did have a nice chilled day yesterday and I did get some bits done, which I'm really, really glad about. So I feel like I've started the week off on a good note. I'm just in the office at the minute. I'm just having a bit of breakfast. This, let me show you this actually. This is a pancake recipe that I've copied from Sophie Jane, the Australian YouTuber. It's so yummy. It's literally banana and egg pancake. So there's two eggs, one banana. I've put flaxseed in mine. She puts chia seeds in hers. I would do, but I've just used all mine up. And I just put in some mixed spice as well. You can put in cinnamon, whatever you want. And you just fry it off in the pan and then you just add your berries. I added the berries when I flipped the pancake because I don't like mine completely frozen. So they just soften up a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to have this, have a cup of tea, see what work needs doing this morning. And then I think I'm going to do some yoga. I feel like Monday's a good day for yoga. I don't do anything like exercise wise during the day on a Monday other than in the evening when I go to Zumba. Although I haven't been loving Zumba recently. I don't know. I just kind of, yeah, I think it annoys me it's on a Monday night and the time, it's like half six. So by the time I'm home, it's like quarter past seven. Once I've had a shower, half seven, quarter to eight, you know, the evening just goes so quickly. But it's literally one of the only evening classes that I actually get involved in. So, you know, so I've got that tonight. I need to go and pick my truck up because we didn't go and do that yesterday. So I need to go and do that at some point today. And yeah, I'm just going to make a bit of a to-do list for this week because I really kind of want to have a productive week. I've got lots of, I really need to crack on with wedding planning as well. So I'm going to definitely make a lot of time for that this week and hopefully some scrapbooking, hopefully get through a lot of Kingdom of Ashua. I think I'm on like page 311. So I really made a bit of a dent, but that took me a good few hours to make a big dent in that. So anyway, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I will catch up with you all soon. <laughs> the afternoon now and I've just been doing a little bit of everything this morning really we went earlier to go and pick up my truck had a cop um a copy a coffee in one of the coffee shops in our lo like one of the local villages near to us which was really cute actually we have been in there before but they had a bit of a change around so yeah it was really cute in there they'd done it up really really nicely for autumn and halloween and stuff so that was nice came home and I've just been hoovering mopping just having a bit of a reset I did do half of the reset on Sunday but I just wanted to kind of have a nice clean area so that I can get on with the week because I don't have tons to do this week so I'm going to try and be really proactive in some of the things that I've been needing to get done for a while that I've just been putting off because I've been doing like deep cleans or been busy or whatever it is so I'm looking fairly quiet on the work front this week as well so I thought I would just jump on and basically talk you through my planner. This is the first thing that I wanted to talk to you about. I've just um, changed from this one that I did a couple of weeks ago because we're roughly halfway through the month now. So I thought I would do a fresh page and just start afresh. I've obviously ticked off a few things from the old one, but a few things I haven't followed through with. So I really wanna knuckle down and try and stick to a plan. So, up here I've just written a couple of things that I want to do this week I need to go and see my nan and granddad I think me and mum had planned to go to town one day I only, I only need a few little bits in town but I could really do with popping in so I'm going to just double check if we're doing that and when and I really want to get our honeymoon plans finalised by the end of the week which I think is really realistic um, I'm going to spend some time this afternoon doing that as well so yeah and I've also got some vintage items i can see some i mean look at that box it's literally so full so i've got that to do as well i need to take photos upload all of those but i actually really need to order some new packaging 
because most of the packaging that I bought from Amazon before is gone. I've used it all. I've only got like the little ones left. And then my goals just here, I've just put that I want to cons consistently take my supplements. I'm really, really not good at doing that. So I really need to get into a good habit of doing that. Waking up at 6am, this was followed through from my last previous page. I really want to kind of stick to that. I've had such a productive day today and got so much done. I want to stick, out to, um, stick to my workout routine. I want to walk for 10 minutes after every meal. Again, something that I haven't really been sticking to. I've been, I've been making a, you know, a good try at it, but I do need to put a bit more effort into that. And then also make an autumn movie list because I, we, we did start Harry Potter to do a Harry Potter like kind of marathon, but Ben's not really in the vibe with Harry Potter at the minute. So I'm going to kind of put that to one side, maybe until a bit more, a bit more wintry vibes. And maybe to find some like horror movies or some fun like Halloween vibes. So yeah, that's good. And then just in this section here, I've just got my workouts for the week. So Monday, this the blues morning. And then the purple is in the afternoon. So Mondays I've got yoga. I'll just do that at home and then Zumba. Tuesdays I've got PT and then my core class. Yoga on a Wednesday in the morning and then gym with me and Ben in the evening. Thursday PT and then gym with Ben. And then on Friday Pilates. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit to anything on a Friday evening because we're often busy or we just wanna chill at home. And also the weekend, I didn't wanna put anything in for the weekend just because I think it's really disheartening when you're like yeah we're gonna do this every weekend and then you don't get around to it so yeah over the weekend it would be nice to just do a walk or a swim or even just like a light yoga session or something I don't know or even the gym if we're feeling like it so I'm kind of leaving the weekends open but that's what I filled in really I haven't really filled in my daily situations yet other than Saturday because I've got a pumpkin patch that I really want to go to on Saturday and then I'm gonna do the weekly shop for the week ahead and then the weekend as well because we've actually got friends coming over on Sunday and we're doing a roast and then we're going out to this like Scaresville horror trail I think I have mentioned it so I haven't put anything else on the days during this week because obviously today I'm literally just I've got some bathroom bits that I've literally spoken about probably four times on here before um they have still haven't up, I still haven't uploaded them so that is my next task I'm not doing anything else until I've done that and then I'm going to probably spend the majority of the afternoon doing some more honeymoon planning I did quite a bit this morning I probably spent like almost two hours on it this morning and yeah I mean you can just go and go you can just you can just plan forever but yeah I'm right I'm writing it all down in this little pad just here I just find it really handy to write it down and like I can kind of like cross things out as we go through but we've I kind of I think we've kind of agreed that we're probably only going to do two countries rather than three because we were going to do Peru Colombia and then Mexico but I think we are going to give Mexico a miss, not because we don't want to go there, but we just aren't going to have enough time, to be honest. But if one, by the time, it's like an 18 hour journey from the UK to get to Peru in the first place. So yeah, I just feel like we're going to be a little bit rushed and we want to make the most of the countries that we're going to whilst we're there. So I don't just want to like go to Lima and that's it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to like go to Cusco, do the... Machu Picchu and then stay in Lima for one night and then that's it I, and then move on I, I really want to make the most of the countries and I feel like we would quite happily and easily go on holiday to Mexico in its own in entity so I think that's what we've decided on but you know we'll see as we go so I am doing that this afternoon and then the rest of the week as I said it's quite open I need to see my nan and granddad this week so I have actually popped a message to my nan this morning just to see when they're free so one of those days I will see them and me and my mum are going to pop into town and I don't think it's going to be a long trip but that'll be one afternoon or morning taken up with her and then yeah I need to do this vintage stuff so I need to plan when I'm going to do that but just I'm going to fit that in and around my my grandparents so yeah we've just got a few little bits and bobs I quite like to leave Friday free for a bit of a house clean slash tidy just because we are obviously having friends over on Sunday, so it's just nice to have the house nice and clean. But yeah, other than that, not too much of a crazy week. I feel like I'm gonna have lots of time to just kind of get everything back to how I want it to be in the house and everything like that. So I was gonna do this yesterday afternoon, but I thought I would do it now. Um, and I just wanted to give a quick update on Kingdom of Ash. I am 
on page, no, on chapter 36, which is page 311. So I'm basically a third of the way through the book now. And I will say I'm, I got seriously addicted reading this yesterday. Like, I feel like when, when you start a massive book like this, which is like almost 1000 pages, I think, it's really, really hard to get stuck into it, I feel, because you're just turning these pages and you just feel like you're getting nowhere and it's quite, like, demoralising when you pick the book back up and you're like, God, how have I only read, like, 30 pages? Or, like, it just takes quite a while to, like, really get into the depths of the story, but we are really, really getting into some juicy parts of the book already, I have to say. I'm really... I thought... When I first started reading this book, I thought I was going to have to wait until I was at least halfway through for anything really juicy to happen. I thought a lot of it was going to be just surrounding the characters and the challenges that they're all facing in different parts of the world. But actually, no, we've had some serious juice already and I tears have been shed from this book already. So I'm worried for, for what's going to come next because I know there's going to be more tears, but... They were kind of like really sad tears that turned into very happy tears quite quickly. So it was quite nice. But yeah, um, a lot of emotions around this book. I'm really, yeah, as I said, I'm really, really into it at the moment. Um, and I'm just excited to get stuck back into it. So yeah, I'd really, really like to make quite a dent in this this week. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I think I might try and read a little bit of it in the mornings in bed. And then, I mean, I've been reading most evenings anyway, even if it's just for a little bit. So, yeah, I'd really like to make a dent in it. I think what would be nice is if I could get to roughly halfway by the weekend, I think I'll put this down for the weekend and pick up another one of my smaller books and just read a different book for the weekend because I really feel like when I read Pumpkin Spice Cafe after I'd started this, I read that over a weekend. It literally took me three days. I think I finished it on a Monday evening. So it was really nice just to have that little break and just kind of like you know mindless reading over something you don't need to put any thought into to then go back to this and I got so sucked in over the over the weekend that I literally probably spent about three or four hours straight reading this yesterday and it was bliss so so nice I literally love when I have time to do that so yeah very very excited to get further into this book I definitely want to make a bit of time this afternoon or especially this evening to read a bit more of that but I'm going to wrap up this section here. The only other thing that I do actually want to show you guys today is our Gusto order. I was thinking this one day this week that I would do a what I eat in a day. And I'm thinking I might do it tomorrow. Just because tomorrow is a day when I'm like quite busy. I have like my PT in the morning and then I have my call class. So I just feel like I'm going to want to be fueling my body in the best way. So I feel like it's going to be a good day to bring you guys along. So yeah, let me wait until Gusto arrives and I will show you what we've got in our Gusto box because I do, I feel like we've got our, get, our best one in a while. I've been very conscious of like trying to eat like order healthy things and sometimes it comes and you're like, oh, I haven't got anything like really fun and interesting in this box. But no, it's a good one this week. So I'll show you what I've got and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, Gusto has arrived and I just wanted to jump on quickly and show you what we got this week because I'm pretty sure this is the most exciting week that we've had in a while with Gusto, recipe wise. It's quite a big box this week as well, which I don't know why because I have dropped down to just ordering like three or four recipes. So... Yes, right. One, two, three, hey girl, four. Okay, so these are the recipes that we've got this week. The first one is Moroccan style lamb cottage pie with sumac carrots. I thought that sounded really nice. I wanted to get some more kind of like homey dishes because I've been getting as you've probably seen a lot of like fish dishes thought I could have that some weeks but some of these homely ones just are just hitting the spot a bit more for me at the moment so I picked that up because it sounds a little bit different we can do like a cottage pie or a shepherd's pie I don't know why they're calling it lamb cottage pie when a lamb pie like this is called shepherd's pie normally but anyway I'm excited for that I know Ben's gonna be 
happy with that as well and then i've got a three veg miso and sesame ramen which again sounds delicious really really looking forward to that and then I also picked up these char suey style pork bao buns, muli slaw and loaded fries. So I thought, depending on how long the pork lasts, maybe we'll have a little Friday night feast. This is a bit of a feast if that looks like. And then the final one that we've got is plant-based smoky pepper and tomato soup, which you literally can't go wrong with a bit of soup in the, in the winter months, can you guys? So they are the recipes for the week. Ben's actually going to cook tonight because I've got a Zumba. So I'm going to leave him in full control of cooking tonight. So we'll have to wait and see which one. Oh, look at these little bow buns. I didn't know. I was wondering whether the bow buns, whether we were going to make them ourselves or just fill ones that are already made. But this is what they come looking like. But yeah, I'm literally making myself a cup of tea. I'm having a bit of a nightmare with some of this salvage. I'm basically, from my mum and dad's old house, it, they, it was like a grade one listed house and they had loads of like leftover like toilets and sinks and like antique salvage, they call it. Um, and they, they literally left it with their builders and kind of said, you know, do whatever you need to do with it. But they haven't sold any of it. So dad has basically said to me that I can sell it if I want to get a bit of extra money towards the wedding, which is planning on doing anyway so that's what i'm trying to sell when i'm to keep talking about all this barker and stuff but basically some of it have been recommended the price of how, how like what to sell it for but i also just don't know like the proper description of things or the materials of things and when i went and took all the photos of this salvage i didn't take any measurements or anything so i'm having a bit of a hard time getting it up because ebay you've got like a limit on the amount that you could have on like selling on, on there for. So I've literally put one thing on there, I'm already over the limit, like to, to put another one. And then at Salvo Web, which is another website for all of this kind of stuff, I've just put three items on there and you've got to pay for another three items. But I don't even know if I'm really putting them up for the right price or if they're gonna sell at this price, I'm gonna have any interest. So it's a bit of a waiting game at the moment, but I have actually just emailed uh, like antique bath specialist to see if it'd be something they'd be interested in. So, and just buying all the salvage just as a like big bulk thing, I don't know. Anyway, so that's where I'm at with that, but I'm literally gonna put all this gusto stuff away now, have a cup of tea, have a little donut, which is a little bit naughty, but there we go. And I'm gonna probably read a little bit of my book. What time is it? Half two. Probably read a bit of my book and I'll probably get a bit more research done on our honeymoon. And then it'll be time for Zumba before we know it. So I'm going to close this vlog off here, guys. I hope you enjoy and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.